what a surprise and uh, we have to modify a few things and basically that's all about the enemy class so I just create two files in here an enemy.c enemy dot h so the header file and I create another file called enemy dot cpp which is our cpp file so our actual definition okay so all right we can start it now so we include the sdl slash sdl dot h and uh, Hmm, do we need another thing? I don't think so. So, if not, if not defined, and oh, make it uh, and make it capital the so enemy underscore age. Then we define the enemy age and the class. So class enemy as we don't do nothing. So if it is already defined, then we don't do nothing. Okay. So basically an enemy class has a box as well. So almost as all of our uh, other entities. So if the erect box, we have a box. Okay, we have an X and a Y well. So in X well and Y well. Okay, we need an image for the enemy, so SDL uh, surface uh, image. So it's pretty much the same as in case of the player and in case of the uh, bullet. So for it, for it, it is the same. Okay, uh, similarly to the player, we need a ground variable which will represent if we if the enemy is on the ground. We need an SDL rect array with two elements, which we represent the two picture of the enemy. Uh, so the enemy, which can be found in here. So yeah, this is the two picture of the enemy, and uh, similarly to the player, we will change this image. So first the first, and then the second, and yeah, that's it. Okay and uh, pretty much that's it that's about the variables and we need oh we need a constructor so enemy and uh, it creates an SDL surface this will be the image of the enemy okay similarly to the bullet we don't make this structure because uh, we actually load this image in the main class and we store it in the main class uh, actually game uh, class so we load it there and store it there and uh, we call the destructor in there so to delete this enemy image okay it's need a move so void and move similarly to the others and it's wait uh, these are V vector so we need to include the vector because as it's not know what the vector is so vector so fdd colon colon vector it has an std colon colon vector and integer okay and uh, it's actually with a rep uh, reference and uh, yeah that's it Okay, it's need a show which is as simple as always. So, void show as the uh, surface which will be there to show it. So it will be the screen actually. Okay, and uh, and then then the pretty much that's it. Mm, one more thing. We get the rectangle as other classes, so FDR rect with the pointer get rect. So it will just return the box. Hmm. And I think that's about it. Alright, then go to the enemy.cpp, just include the enemy.h 
and we can start to define the function enemy so the constructor which written as the surface ing ok make the image equal to img uh, ok image to uh, img uh, make the box x and so set the box actually to set the box we need to get the coordinate for the box in the constructor not just the image we need an integer x a, an integer y and if we are here just set the x and the y speed so int x well int x well and int y well mm, that's it so we need to get f a few more variables so int x int y int x well and int y well that's it and uh, box dot x equal to x box dot y equal to y box dot width equal to hmm so hmm, i don't know image x divided by 2 i guess and box dot height equal to image height okay and uh, what else should we set the x well equal to x x well the y well equal to y well so pretty simple and straightforward we just uh, get set all of the variables make the ground equal to false at the moment and we set the clip okay i have to open it okay it's 40 so clip clips i equals to i times 40 because the 40 is the width of one clip and the clips i this is the x the y is always zero the clips i width equal to clips i height equal to 40 and that's all we set the clips and we set all of the other variables okay so the constructor is ready go to the show function the show function will be just as simple as in case of other functions so wait uh, enemy show it waits an sds surface screen sds surface and call it screen okay and just blitz it to the screen as we do always so as the average surface we blitz the image mm. uh, at box core uh, so at the clip zero coordinate as later we will add the frame uh, to the screen at box coordinate so okay that was simple and straightforward make the get rect function because that is simple as well so sdl rect enemy get rect and just return the address of box it is just as simple as that okay the move function will be a little more tricky so void enemy move and it's with this uh, long template parameter which I copy 
call it map. Alright, so we get the move function and the move function basically will work like the player the cpp move function so you know copy and paste okay i just copy this entire thing and paste it in here and later we uh, get what is not needed mm. okay so actually we need to change a few things in here in the case of star because we don't want to check only the image which is uh, inside uh, so the tiles which is inside the screen we want to check a few uh, tile outside of the screen as we get serious problems uh, so it uh, basically whenever we move the uh, this enemy will actually move into the the tile uh, okay so I think two uh, block is enough so I just set minus two and here plus two so we check uh, two blocks outside of the screen not just inside the screen uh, okay so in here we need to check to make it absolute coordinate not relative coordinate to the screen make it absolute as you can see now it is absolute coordinate it is relative coordinate it is absolute coordinate hmm? okay and now we check the collisions okay so in here uh, we uh, just store the same thing so I just copy it in right here so if we hit the ground then yeah we set these values and basically that's all we don't need to change anything in here but in here so whenever we hit one of the so whenever we hit a left or the right a tile then we just set the direction to the opposite so mm. set the x well equal to minus x well and actually the same in here so just copy and paste and uh, we d just delete the last check because uh, there is no way to collide in upper us so yeah that's it there is no jump in case of the uh, enemy so we just delete the that and make y velocity equals to 5 it is good simple gravity and we add simple gravity to it okay and uh, there is no jump so we just delete this and uh, actually make the frame right now so double frame and uh, now we can use this frame I initialize it 0 in here so frame equal to 0 and uh, in here not matter what the direction is and because this is always moving I just delete the moving uh, variable so not matter where we go uh, if frame is greater or equal than 1.4 then I set back to f the frame equal to 0 so basically it's not matter where we go we do the op uh, the same thing and then we go just go back to show and show the clip and uh, round it to a whole number so frame plus 0 0.5 that's it and uh, add an enemy somewhere so in the game.cpp actually the game.h I create a new vector for the enemies so std vector and this will contain enemy uh, uh, pointers and uh, call it enemy enemies or enemies yeah call it enemies alright and uh, 
just create one enemy in the constructor for now so 